All right, we're going to look at uh, another one that's a <coughs> initial condition type of problem here, and it's basically the same as the one we had before. Um, it just looks a little bit different, but we're going to essentially be using the same type of process. Okay, so I've given you a differential equation, which essentially is just a derivative. Up until this point, we just said that would be like you know dy over dx is a, is one of the ways of writing derivative. So that means that you know essentially three x squared minus two is the derivative of y you know, or y prime or whatever. <clears throat> um, dy over dx would be the same thing as y prime. And so I said, okay, the solution to the differential equation passes through the point 0, 2. Remember, the solution to the differential equation, all that means is essentially the original function. So like I said a second ago, this re represents the derivative of y. You know, y is actually just the original function. Um, and, you know, this point 0, 2, this would be called an initial condition right here. So then it asks us to find the value of y when x equals 1. So in order to do this, we first have to find the equation for y. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start by, we've got dy over dx equals 3x squared minus 2. And I'm going to first, I'm going to take the antiderivative of both sides. Later on, we will be multiplying the dx on the other side. You can do that right now if you'd like to, and then take the antiderivative. But um, it's not super necessary when you just have an x in the problem. Okay, so let's see here. So again, dy over dx just means the derivative of y. So the antiderivative of that is just going to be y. Now remember, an antiderivative is just something that when you take the derivative, it becomes this. So the derivative of y is dy over dx. All right, the antiderivative of 3x squared minus 2 is going to be x cubed minus 2x plus c. Okay, now this initial condition was given to me so that I can find out what c is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 0, I'm going to plug it in for x, I'm going to take 2, and I'm going to plug it in for y. So I'm getting 2 equals um, 0 minus 0 plus c. So 2 is equal to c. So I know that my equation, my solution to my differential equation, is just y equals x cubed minus 2x plus c. All right, and then... Um, it's asking me to find the value of y when x equals 1. I'm sorry, this is not plus c anymore. <clears throat> it's now plus 2, because I plugged 2 in for c. That's my fault. So all I do here, I just take 1, I plug it in for x, and I can find out what y is when x equals 1. So I have uh, 1 to the third is just 1, minus 2 times 1 is going to be 2, plus 2. So y is just equal to 1. So when x equals 1, y happens to be 1 also.